Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and today I would like to share with you guys a very special unboxing. I got something directly from Napsel and I know I'm really close up here but I hate having to adjust in the middle of the recording because my tripod's kind of janky, it's not super smooth but it gets a job done. The unboxing knife is going to be my recently acquired baby banter with flitanium radar scales I, I think they're called radar scales i'm not too sure this thing is just freaking sweet it was my carry for today super super snappy the detent on this one in particular it is very strong for such a small knife and it was again my main carry this is all i really need day to day um it's a wonderful little little knife definitely so we're gonna go ahead and get into this as i bump and make a mess out of everything but this is actually an american company full production everything in the u.s which is pretty sweet i'm not super super crazy of an enthusiast for just american knives of course i review plenty of other things and i own and love many other knives that are made out of the country right as a lot of us do but um, I am always very excited to share something that's made here in the U.S. And this is going to be my first ever experience with anything from this company. And this is as spicy as it gets for this company, as far as I know. This is one of their brand new models and with the blade shape and just what they were offering. It was just calling to me. This is from American Blade Works. And I did order this directly from nafsale.com. Eric, the guy that runs Nafsale and the wonderful site that is, uh, you can do pretty much everything there. You can communicate with other people in the community, buy and sell. Of course you can trade, but I don't think there's actually a specific little trading corner. Um, it's really just buying and selling and stuff moves really, really freaking fast. Uh, Eric told me that he went to Blade Show recently and he picked up a handful, just a handful of this specific variation. And I was just at the right time, right place, right time. And uh, I saw it on Instagram. I went directly to NAF sale and I kid you not, the money that I earned for selling some of the knives recently out of my collection that money didn't stay put in my account for too long, unfortunately, and it went straight to this. So for the people that actually did purchase stuff for me recently, thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Got some cool stickers to add to the table. Nice, nice stickers. I like it. I like it. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh, cool. Little, little cloth. Oh, this is a thick cloth. Where's, where is this from? Huh. Check that out. This is nice. This is very, very sturdy feeling. Huh, this isn't really like anything else I've ever... It's kind of rough on this side, almost kind of like a canvasy, a very well broken in canvas feel. It's not super stiff, and on this side it's kind of suede, microfiber kind of material. This feels good, this is nice and soft. Huh, I like that. I, I will refrain from using this when I'm doing like dirty cleanup and stuff. This is meant to, you know, be kept nice and nice and clean i don't know if that would actually go through the wash too well but thank you thank you for that i appreciate that I wasn't expecting anything else and bubble wrap i'm excited about the bubble wrap too because i use that to ship out stuff all right four minutes in let's get into this ah, i'm so freaking excited all right <laughs> oh yeah no fancy packaging it's just the honestly the cheapest possible nylon pouch you could possibly get a little bit of fuzzy lining no pockets no extra nothing no authenticity card this is you know, whatever this is what it's all about right here this thing is freaking just gorgeous um i've never experienced anything that has like milling lines like this and of course it is titanium and this thing's kind of hefty we'll get the weight We'll check out some of the hardware. What I'm seeing is majority of this is T8, which is absolutely wonderful. And the little bit that I do know of this company is that it's another high precision, overbuilt, sleek company. They do a lot of designs like that. 
All right, first flip, that jimping is pretty refined. It's not too grabby grabby, but let's get this out. Oh yeah. Inset liner lock. It's a little bit of access, nothing crazy, but it is wide enough. Okay. Come on, come on, why aren't you going down? Okay, the detent ball is a little further down, so it's kind of late and just kind of sits there like that. That was a little anticlimactic, but I'm sure this thing will break in just fine. It just feels kind of feels kind of weird. It is running on bearings. I was honestly expecting washers. I don't know squat about this knife. Most of the time when I purchase a knife, I do a little bit of research, but I've only ever seen one person show this uh, exact model off. I think it was Stasa 23 Knife Therapy. Um, I think he showed this off, or it might have been Jared from Neve's Knives. I don't know. Regardless, both of those are wonderful channels. Uh, check them out if you haven't. But um, I one of those guys showed this off recently, and they were raving and ranting about it, saying it's like the next big thing. And yeah, I can definitely see how, but that detent is uh, is very light. You can definitely like, kind of like, force it down a little bit. But yeah, it definitely does have some very light detent. I wish the detent ball uh, hit the surface of the blade just a little bit sooner. But that's that's a very easy workaround, and I'm sure the ceramic detent ball will wear in a, a good path to where that becomes a much smoother transition. So that's pretty darn cool. Let's just do some up closes. Captured pivot there. I'm assuming just by the shape. Nice clean lines. I believe the finish is a very fine stone wash. It's nothing crazy. A little backspacer with mainly some decorative jimping. They do protrude just the slightest there. Not too much. Uh, it's pretty safe design. You can't pick that out. At least I can't. I can't feel it. Um, you can't feel the blade at all. I can't even, you know, if I'm trying to like shove my finger in this. So it's, it's pretty safe. I like that. I definitely do appreciate that. And everything does feel extremely well rounded off. Um, pivot looks to be a T10. We can go ahead and check that real quick. I have my little Weeha bits. What do I have in here right now? This is the T8. So for the pocket clip, that is what is what is that is this a t8 yeah that's that's a t8 that's in there is wrong wrong size am i just am i just an idiot i think that might be the case i think i might just be an idiot <laughs> what's happening um all right this that's a little weird t7 is that a T7? Yeah, it, it bites good. Doesn't feel weird. That's... Huh. All right. I wasn't expecting that. That looked like a T8, but T8 definitely does not fit. Um, it looks to be a T7. So, if unfortunately, if you don't have T7, you might want to get some. Yeah, body screws feel good no wiggle room no nothing you bite in just fine the depth of the hardware feels pretty good what okay what is the pivot gonna be a freaking t13 i don't i don't even know uh, this is a t10 we can go ahead and just try that out okay well that's a t10 there's a little bit of wiggle room i can just go up a little bit t15 maybe okay it's a t15 Okay, pivot, yeah, for sure, for sure is a T15. And yes, they are Torx bits. They're not like <clears throat> the other little ones. They're quite similar. I keep forgetting the star hex keys. I, whatever. Huh. Well, that's weird. But regardless, I'm super excited to have this. Um, and we can do the weight real quick. And that'll be pretty much it. I'm going to be flipping this thing like crazy. And it'll be my carry for tomorrow. This thing is freaking filthy. All right. Let's get the weight on this because this thing feels heavier than it honestly like actually looks to be 4.9 it's kind of beefy but all right not a big deal uh let's do a couple little size comparison knives and these are going to be different ones i thought it would be fun to do 
American American size comparison knives. So first off, I'm sure plenty of you would have guessed that. Uh, this is the TRM Atom. We also have, you probably wouldn't guess this one, but Spartan Blade Works Harsey full size, of course, a beast that just never gets used and nobody wanted to buy. So <laughs> there's that. So now it's back in the collection. All right, so those are those. Uh, we have a Spyderco PM2, Manix 2. Last but not least, have my little Chris Reeve Small Spencer 31. That is uh, pretty much it. Hopefully those help you guys out to kind of get a grasp of what this guy is really all about. Um, there really isn't a whole lot much more to go through. The blade finish, it's kind of weird looking. It does look like it is like belt satin horizontal, like hand rubbed possibly. But then, um, you know, there's a stone washing over it. It's, it's really weird. It looks quite unique, honestly. And, uh, hmm, what else? What else can we do? Maybe a little, a little bit of a, a cut test. Check that out, I guess. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything less. And you know what? This is probably one of the nicest, besides Spyderco and Hogue, this is probably one of the nicest high-precision American companies that I have personally experienced um, for their factory edge. That is that is quite nice. Um, but yeah, pretty much it. It's going to take some time to break in. I know that for sure, but it won't be too bad. And it's actually very comfortable overall with disengage. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I definitely did. If you guys like what you see here, go ahead and leave a like. If you are subscribed, thank you. I most definitely appreciate all your guys' support and your patience, of course. If you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing because I have plenty more content coming your guys' way. And that's it. Take care.